I was sitting in New York one day playing Flappy Bird and suddenly this white guy came up to me and he just yelled the N word. Now, it kind of hurt to be insulted at first sight but on reflection I guess he was right. I am a nerd. <laughs> yes, I am a nerd. I am that nerd who's never scored a goal, but he studies Russian and Polish history for fun. I have watched anime for so long I've forgotten what the sun looks like. <laughs> and I have gotten so white and pasty you could call me Edward Cullen. <laughs> I read reports from a department of history at Oxford. I am that nerd. But that doesn't mean anything anymore, does it? Because now it's so mainstream. There's a whole generation out there from all over the nation who form a massive herd saying, oh my god, I'm such a nerd. <laughs> because they go to Comic Con for chicks and they write Harry Draco ship fix. And they put, <laughs> and they put Game of Thrones covers on their phones and watch Iron Man 3. <laughs> and of course, watching Star Wars and saying, may the force be with you. <laughs> and you think that makes you a nerd? That's absurd. <laughs> Being a nerd, it's, like, it's about staying up at night laughing at random French verbs. He's working out complex math sums just because math is fucking fun, guys. <laughs> I'm waiting until that special someone comes and take me out to the theater to watch Avengers to a Guardians of the Galaxy and saying, My brain makes dopamine around you. Will you be Rocket? Because I am Groot. <laughs> so, it's one thing, so basically being a nerd. It's when you read English literature and you think it's the funnest thing ever. It's, it's when you think that physics is great. I'll get the crux of it. It's wanting to know everything about the world. Like, what happens if I put these two chemicals in a blender? What's the Latin origin of the word spender? <laughs> when your head's packed with facts from 10 decimal places of pi to hack attacks, that's when you know you're a nerd. So, I just want to say being a nerd it's a curiosity about things. It's knowing that the world we built to lose ourselves in are no less real than the one we're all actually hopelessly lost in. So, if you're proud to be a nerd, put your hands up. Because guys, the geek will inherit the earth. Thank you.